No line again. This thing feels lighter than the M1 MacBook Air. I really like it. Super satisfying. I decided to edit a video to compare it between the M2 and M1 MacBook Air. I was about to start the exporting process of the Final Cut project that I made, and you can totally see that this is winning because of the SSD. So we can totally see the SSD is throttling on the M2 Air, but the M1 Air just got it, and this is still almost done. If we try opening up the project at the same time, we're gonna go to test here. In three, two, one. I think I double click it. Yeah, okay, so they loaded instantly. Now let's start the exporting process. All right, so the M2 just finished and the M1 just finished. They were pretty close, so that's a little bit interesting. All right, this time we're gonna do the 8K test to see which one uh, is faster. I'm probably gonna go with this one since it has like 8K capabilities. So I'm just going to start it out at the same time in three, two, one. Oh, this is a little bit interesting. 4% here, 3% here, 6%. I was not expecting that. Okay, this is a really surprising result. The M1 finished. This is pretty much two times faster than the M2. Like, what, is this not a base model or something? And it is a base model. So, what is... I asked somebody at the Apple Store why the M1 Mac Air was faster than the M2 at 8K video processing. And he says because of, it's about efficiency. All right, now we're gonna run the Geekbench test against the M1 and the M2. So let's press run CPU benchmark, and let's see what the results are. There's a 1740 on the single core and a 7749 on the multi-core. Now on the M2 MacBook Air, we have a 1905 on the single core and an 8781 on the multi-core. So this is faster at CPU tasks, but what about GPU tasks? All right, I was expecting this one to be faster, but we have a 17306 on the M1 MacBook Air and a 24054 on the M2 MacBook Air. All right, so this is a comparison between the cameras. Right here, I have the M2 MacBook Air camera, and right here, I have the M1 MacBook Air camera. And I don't notice a difference, to be honest. I could in editing, but we'll see. Now which MacBook should you get? I say most people should get the M1 or M2 MacBook Air. I compared the iPhone 12 to the iPhone 13, and originally the iPhone 13 was slower due to it not being optimized. iOS 15.0.1 fixed this and made the 13 faster than the 12. And keep in mind, it comes with macOS Monterey 12.4, and the software is pretty old at this point. We are also nearing the end of the macOS 12.5 release stage, but we could see big improvements when that comes out. Also, I'm not sure about this, but the Apple Store software could be slower than the regular software. If you know about this, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, share it with your friends, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!